If you love casseroles, I have some delicious ones to share with you today. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Harvard Life. In today's video, I'm sharing three easy and budget-friendly casseroles. These recipes are all easy to make and perfect for any night of the week. Now let's get started. First up is a ham and pierogi casserole. You'll need butter, milk, cooked ham, frozen pierogies, cream of mushroom soup, cheddar cheese, and an onion. I seen Kristen Stepp share this recipe and I couldn't wait to try it. I started out over at the stove top in a small saucepan. I added one tablespoon of butter and one large diced onion. I just sauteed it until the onion was soft and translucent. I'm spraying a 9 by 13 casserole dish with some nonstick spray. I'm pouring in a 32 ounce bag of frozen pierogies. I'm using the four cheese medley. Kristen used the mini ones in hers. I couldn't find those, but I think the mini ones would be perfect in this. Now I'm topping the pierogies with those sauteed onions, along with a one pound package of cooked ham. I meant to grab the diced ham for this, but I grabbed the cubed so it was bigger pieces. But next time I wanna try this with the very thinly shaved deli ham. Just spread that out really good. I'm pushing this over to the side so I can mix up the soup mixture. To a medium sized bowl, I'm adding one can of cream of mushroom soup and slowly adding in 3 fourths cup of milk. Give that a good mix. Now take that soup mixture and pour it evenly over your casserole. Top this with one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. This bakes uncovered in a preheated 350 degree oven for one hour. Next time, I may try covering this for the first 20 minutes or so of baking. The top got a little too done, but it was still delicious. And it may have been the fact that I was trying to decorate a birthday cake while I was cooking. I should have took it out a little sooner than I did, but I will definitely be making this again. Next time, with the mini pierogies and shaved deli ham. Thank you, Kristen Stepp, for sharing this. I'll link her channel below, so be sure to check her out. Next up is a super easy poppy seed chicken casserole. You'll need butter, Ritz crackers, sour cream, poppy seeds, Parmesan cheese, cream of chicken soup, and two to three cups of diced or shredded chicken. In a large bowl, I'm adding in one can of cream of chicken soup, eight ounces of sour cream. That was about a cup's worth. Half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese and two teaspoons of poppy seeds. Give that a really good mix until everything is well combined. Now add in two to three cups of cooked chicken. I used a whole rotisserie, so I ended up adding about three and a half cups worth. And I like this better with shredded chicken. Now I'm spraying a nine by nine inch baking dish with some nonstick spray and pouring in that chicken mixture. Spread it out evenly. 
Now in the same bowl I used for that chicken mixture, I added one stick of butter and popped it in the microwave until it was melted. While the butter was melting, I grabbed one sleeve of Ritz crackers and I beat them with my rolling pin until they were completely crushed. Now I'm adding those to that melted butter. Stir that up a little bit and then evenly sprinkle it on top of that casserole. This bakes in a preheated 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. This is seriously super easy to make and it is absolutely delicious. We like to have this with some rice and steamed broccoli. And if you haven't tried this already, please do. I really think you'll love it. This last recipe is a cheesy ground beef and rice casserole. You'll need ground beef, an onion, milk, beef broth, sour cream, shredded cheese, cream of mushroom soup, mushrooms, uncooked rice, seasonings, minced garlic, and butter. In my Dutch oven, I'm browning up one pound of ground beef. I'm just cooking that until it's cooked through. Then remove it to a separate plate to set aside. I'm using a paper towel to get rid of that leftover grease. Now to that same pot, I'm adding two tablespoons of butter along with one diced onion. And I'm just sauteing that for about five minutes until that onion is soft. Now add in one tablespoon of minced garlic and let that cook for about a minute. Add in one tablespoon of butter, one and one fourth cup of uncooked white rice, and two and a half cups of beef broth. Stir that up and bring it to a bowl. When it starts boiling, reduce the heat to a simmer. Add in eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. Stir that up, cover it tightly, and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Uncover it and give it a good stir. Now cover it back up, let it cook for about eight minutes, turn the heat off, leave the cover on, and let it stand for about 10 minutes without stirring. Now take the lid off. I'm adding salt and pepper to taste. One and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. One can of cream of mushroom soup. Half a cup of sour cream. One cup of shredded cheddar cheese. The other cup will go on top of the casserole and half a cup of milk. Give that a really good stir. Now move over to the counter. Nope, just kidding. I forgot to add in the cooked ground beef. <laughs> we won't talk about how I had already moved over and poured it into the casserole dish and topped it with cheese. Oh well, things happen. I poured it back into the pot and added in that cooked ground beef. Now I'm headed back over to the counter. I'm lightly greasing a 9 by 13 inch casserole dish. Pour in that ground beef and rice mixture. I'm just spreading it out nice and even. 
Top it with one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. This needs to cook covered, so I'm using my trick all my sweet friends told me about. I'm spraying a piece of foil with some nonstick spray. That way the cheese don't stick. Flip it over, cover it tightly, and this bakes at 350 for 20 minutes. Uncover it and it is ready to serve. This is absolutely delicious. It requires a little more ingredients and a few extra steps, but it is totally worth it. Well y'all, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you in the next one.